Hey everyone, it's uh, Mousy2185. It's a quick tutorial on how to switch the clocks on G1 and get a different clock other than the preset one that's already in there. Okay, the first steps into switching the clock on the screen of the G1 is uh, you can stop at my blog spot. It's mousy2185.blogspot.com. Instructions all down the page. Uh, I believe it's like 12 of them. It's not that long. It's real simple. Uh, it's a link also to download the software to do it. Uh, but first thing you do is uh, go back to the G1. Okay, the first thing you do, the clock that's already on there, take it and just delete it. Take it and delete it. Delete the clock that's already on there. Plug the USB into the G1. At the top, it'll say USB connected. Pull the drop box down and uh, click on USB connected. And it'll say, uh, ask you if you want to mount it or don't mount it. Click on mount. And once you've got that done, head back over to the computer. Once you're back at your computer, the autoplay box will pop up. Click on open folder to view files at the bottom. You get the box that comes up, looks like this. It's got a bunch of files and stuff in it. Uh, you can go ahead and set that to the side for right now. And head back over to my page. And uh, we're about to step six. Go ahead and click on the link to download the software. Take it to another page. Click on download now. And it'll take about 23 or 24 seconds to download it. Once the file done, it's done downloading, look like this. You can go ahead and click on it twice and open it up. Uh, there'll be three, three files in the uh, in the zip folder. One's Clock Widget Switcher .exe, uh, ADB Win API.dll, and ADB.exe. Click on Clock Widget Switcher .exe. Open that up extract that out uh, another box will pop up looks like this it says continue retry again you will have a device number in there once you click on continue the clocks will pop up and there's quite a few of them in here to switch through Alright, so once you get that opened up, uh, I'll go back to your zip file, and there's a little button, I don't know if you see it's right here, click that, it'll take you back to where the file was downloaded at, and on the file, right click on the file, and extract the file to a specific folder, uh, that folder is going to be the folder where your flash drive opened up at for the G1. Uh, mine's the E folder and you're going to click on that and click OK. I'm not going to do it because I've already done it. Um, you can close all that out. And once you pick out the clock that you want, and once, all, once you pick out, once all that's done loading, uh, you can pick out the clock that you want on the screen. Uh, go ahead and pick this clock. Once you click on the clock you want, it says, would you like the 2x2 two two rather than the 4x3? I want to click no because I like the bigger clock. And go ahead and click no. And then we'll hop back over to the G1 and see what's going on. Okay, now that we're back on the G1, uh, make sure you don't have anything covering up the front part of your screen. Uh, hold down on the home screen until the widgets box, the at home at the home screen box comes up click on widgets and then you can click on analog clock which will be the new clock you clicked on and it'll show right up on the home screen and if you wanted to switch clocks all you had to do was uh, press down on the clock that you downloaded 
and drag it to the trash can and go back to your computer once you're back on your computer just go to the clock that you want and move the uh, click on no like I did before and we're going to pick that clock the only way that you'll be able to switch it without unplugging the USB is remember when I had you uh, extract the files to your your SD card on your G1 all the files will be on your G1 I have my three right here it'll say uh, clock widget switcher every time you want to switch the clock without unplugging it just click on it in here double click on it in here and it'll ask you in there and it'll come up automatically without you having to switch uh, without you having to unplug the G1 uh, and I'm going to switch to this clock instead because it's got the diamonds or whatever around it go ahead and click on that and go back to your G1 okay now once you're back on your G1 just long press on the screen click on widgets and click on analog clock and you'll see your new clock comes up it's that easy I'll show you again different clock see it's that easy I don't like that one so I'll pick a different one yep that's all it is to it uh, it's been Mousy2185 with uh, tutorial on how to switch the clocks on the G1.